Hey everyone, Jordan at Burst Optics. Today in this video, we're gonna go over connecting to the Eliminator 6 and adjusting the settings within the scope using the Burst Connect app. To do this, you're gonna need your user manual, an Apple or Android smartphone, as well as your Eliminator 6. First thing we need to do is download the Burst Connect app by going to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Search for Burst Connect. It should look like this. Next, we're gonna remove the battery cap on your Eliminator 6, install the battery and power it up. To do this, remove the cap on the left side of the scope by turning it counterclockwise. The Eliminator 6 uses a CR123A battery. To install it simple, just put it in and match the orientation shown inside the battery compartment. To install the cap back on, make sure you line up the pins right here. And simply turn that cap clockwise until it's nice and tight. To power on the Eliminator 6 and connect to it, first push the rangefinder button right here. This will turn the scope on. You'll know the scope is on by looking in and seeing the battery indicator illuminated in the heads up display. Next, we're going to open up the Burst Connect app on your phone and find the scope and connect to it. It's super simple. Open up the app, go to Optics, Manage Optics, you'll see a plus sign. Click Eliminator 6, and this will basically give you the same instruction that I just did about pushing that front button. Hit the Next button and look for Discover Devices. You'll notice that my Eliminator 6 with its serial number has showed up below. Go ahead and click on that. It'll show when your device is connected by giving you an alert at the top. Now that I've connected to my Eliminator 6, I'm going to go over how to change the settings on your heads-up display within the Burst Connect app. Click on your Eliminator 6, and you'll see an entire menu of all the different things that you can change or have displayed within your Eliminator 6. Starting at the top, we're going to ignore uploading ballistics data for now. I cover that in another video. Inside your Eliminator 6, your heads-up display has 11 different zones showing different data within the optic. You can change the settings of those different zones using the Burst Connect app. At the top, you'll notice that you can change the range distance from yards to meters. The temperature readout, you can change from Fahrenheit or Celsius. The energy indicator, you can have foot-pounds or joules. Velocity can be feet per second or meters per second. Wind speed, you can customize the wind hold value within your rifle scope by changing the wind speed. And you can also change the units that you want to use for your wind speed for miles per hour, kilometers per hour, or meters per second. The Illuminator 6 also features a shot call marker. We'll go over that more in depth in another video, but as far as the settings go, you can decide to turn it on or off or set the shot call based off of your energy or your velocity. Under the reticle display settings, you can change what you want in that primary field to be either your range distance or your wind hold value, depending on which one you prioritize the most. You can also select individual zones within the heads-up display to turn on and off, depending on how much information you want displayed. You do this for an initial timeout and an extended timeout. Basically, the initial timeout is what you see immediately after ranging, and the extended timeout is the information that appears in your heads-up display after a set amount of time. For example, if you want all of your information when you range, you can have everything turned on in your initial timeout. If you only want to see your distance in your bubble level after 15, 30, or 60 seconds, you can choose to only see those options. To turn on or off the different zones in your heads-up display, simply tap on that zone within the app. You can tell if that zone has been turned on or off by how bright the red is on the app. You can change the length of time that that initial timeout lasts, as well as the extended timeout. To do that, simply click on initial display timeout and you'll get an option to change from five to 30 seconds. You can do the same thing on extended timeout, but we give you a 15, 30 or 60 second option. Below that, you'll have level settings where you can choose between three different visual displays as well as a bubble or a ball option. You can also adjust the sensitivity from a half a degree to a degree. All of these settings are applied to your Eliminator 6 in real time. You don't have to hit save settings. It's continuously talking to your Eliminator 6 and pushing those settings in real time. I encourage you to play around with all the different options within the Burst Connect app and customize your scope exactly how you want. That's everything for connecting to the Eliminator 6 and changing the settings within the Burst Connect app. If you want to learn more about this scope, including how to upload custom ballistics, as well as sighting it in, check out the rest of the videos in this series or go to BurrisOptics.com.